Hey guys, as it is Christmas and the World of Lords episode 24 will be delayed because of a lot of different reasons, I thought of something else to make in the meantime. Also sorry I'm a bit sick, so my pronunciation of English is even worse. <laughs> anyway, uh, I recently watched a movie called Jux Noel, uh, I'm probably butchering those two words, but it's a movie about the famous Christmas truce of 1914, it very well captures the basis of the event and I highly enjoyed it. I know a lot of you have probably already heard this story, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. The movie has its own storyline, so I won't be spoiling it here. Get your milk and cookies ready and buckle the fuck up. 1914, one of the bloodiest years in humankind history, along the western front in the approximately 2500 kilometers of trenches that were dug, soldiers were in living hell. Mustard gas attacks, artillery strikes, bayonet charges and flooding were one of the few things soldiers had to endure on a, regu on a regular basis. Rain and bad weather were sadly also a big part of their lives. It caused the trenches to become muddy and boggy, which made it hard to move around and it would also cause the weapons to block. The sustained wetness and muddy conditions could also cause the so-called trench foot, which would sometimes result in the foot being amputated. Not to mention the frostbites that occurred because of, of the freezing temperatures. As the days until Christmas Eve slowly faded by, so did the gunshots and explosions. Everything slowly quieted down and after a long time the soldiers could actually dare to relax a little. Late into Christmas Eve, the British and French troops started hearing a faint singing that got louder and louder. It was the German soldiers singing carols and patriotic songs. And as they peeked out of the trench to see what the hell was going on, they saw small fir trees and lanterns along the edge of the German trenches. As it was wartime and the British were suspicious of what the hell was going on, maybe it's a trap? But after a while, more and more British and French joined the singing with the Germans. The British also pulled out their bagpipes and played along with the singing. Later the sides started shouting friendly messages to each other and some soldiers from both sides actually dared to climb out of the trench and into no man's land. Now no man's land being the area between the two opposing trenches. Then more and more troops followed them. They started shaking hands, wishing each other Merry Christmas and exchanging gifts. They took group photos, started a football match with what was supposedly a bottle wrapped in cloth and they buried fallen soldiers that died in no man's land. They held burial ceremonies and prayed together. They also exchanged prisoners and repaired the damaged trenches. One soldier also set up a barber shop in his opponent's trenches. Obviously in wartime you can't just go to a hair salon and come back with a freaking lollipop. Sadly. This truce did not happen all along the Western Front though. Casualties did occur on Christmas Day. Slowly everyone got back to their own trenches. A few soldiers still went into no man's land to exchange cigarettes or just to mingle with the enemy. But after a couple of days everything turned back to normal. Almost. Some officers were unhappy because they were worried that the truce would undermine fighting spirit for the following days. Which is exactly what happened. As his orders to attack came through, soldiers refused to do so. This resulted in whole battalions being switched and replaced. In some cases, soldiers were court-martialed and the court regarded them as traitors. The following years, the truce occurred again, but on a much, much sc smaller scale. Partially because of the orders from high command that forbid soldiers to make friends or even talk with enemies. Quite a lot of people ignore these orders though. I love this story, it just shows that when you recognize your enemy as a person, as a human, then it gets really hard to pull the trigger. And this was a huge event, this wasn't like 10-20 people. This was hundreds of hundreds of people laying down arms and enjoying each other's company, playing football, exchanging gifts, showing each other pictures of their families and praying together, when just a week before they were trying to kill each other. Now I'm gonna be honest, I lost the Christmas feeling, that warm fuzzy feeling, a long while back. Might be because there was no snow in Slovenia for the last 3 years or so, global warming and all that. 
or might be another reason. But my point was, when I watched this movie and thought about what this truth actually meant for the people involved, that it briefly brought back that fuzzy feeling back to me, even if it was just for a few moments. It's a happy, sad story. But nonetheless, it's an amazing one. With all the shit that humanity has done in the past, there are some stories that prove that we aren't all bad. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you here. I got so much work to do. Hopefully, I can finish World of Lords episode 24 before New Year's. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this short story. Merry Christmas, guys! Hope you still got your jolly Christmas feeling and that you got some awesome presents under your tree. <sighs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys!